you're going on about putting beach tanks in, maybe they would look good against the back wall. Uh, yes, we'll ha have a look at that. Um, get the Pacific paint. Do you want to get the roadway in? And then we'll be fine to have a look at all of that. There we go. Right. So we have various different roads around here now. We're going to need some platforms for here. So I want one on either side. This is going to have to be moved just a bit. There you go. It gives us space for at least one, uh, at least two uh, autopeders as well. And we've got two big beach tanks here. These are technically beach tanks. Um, but yeah, I know what you mean. So, something like that would look good against the back wall here. Lorenz, we were increasing your gift shop, weren't we now? Having your gift shop as your secondary talent. And then cleaning as your tertiary. I think I might actually want to increase your cleaning and gift shop at about the same rate. Replace the beach tanks with a donut beach tank. Will that fit in there? So let's do the uh, staff level ups and then we'll have a look. Go through these quickly. Might have to redo that whole roadway. <laughs> so we know which ones these are. Get rid of those. And then get the do not spot the um is it a spot the American way? Yes, it is. And yeah, technically it would fit in there. Which one do you prefer? I don't mind it sticking out on this end. But do you think that looks better? I mean, this tank is going to be massive. I'm not too sure what we're going to put in there. It lies put beach tanks on the far wall. Uh, I think I prefer the other beach tanks. Yeah, I think it fills up this area better. That means we're going to have to add a lot more animals in here. That's one thing to think about. It means we're going to have to hire a lot more staff as well. Um, I definitely don't want the discus yet. So we're gonna, oh, spiny seahorse. That looks amazing. I'm gonna go for that. One. I swear, half of this game is just leveling up your staff when you get to this point. So should we go for the other beach tanks? We'll add this in in a different room. I mean, we could also... I, I think that this peninsula of tank is massive, if I remember right. Oh no, it's not too bad. But they don't go back to back. Which is a shame because we couldn't put anything on the other side of it.
Let's see how big these are. The, we've got a medium beach tank. Oh, they're not too bad. That's actually pretty much a perfect fit. Back there, we've got a bit of space behind for some staff area. So we'll think about that for the back wall. I'd quite like some small little tanks in here as well. Um, maybe the drop-off tanks or the podium tanks. If you have any ideas about small little animals we can add in, um, which would work in this room with some of the bigger stuff we're putting in. So let's see if this beach tank works with the Lakeview tanks. So if we add these back in, it's not too bad. And then if we had that one, say there. I have some benches down this side because I believe that is pretty, pretty wide. We could have some benches down here as well. One unfortunate thing because this is a rounded tank, we've got the um, the Pacific paint you can see here, which we might just have to live with. It'll bug me, it'll annoy me in the end, but we might just have to live with it. Go for a rank eight one. That one looks quite nice. Caleb, you are leveling up into a new talent. So, most of your talents at the moment are mainly coming from the power cape. I think we, we definitely want more cleaners, so we're going to go for cleaning. You're a long way off learning a new talent. You can go for gift job. We might need a little bit of a staff area around here. This is where the staff are going to get up to feed this tank. And they're not going to have much space. I'm having to wait now a bit because we're very, very low on money. And so the more we add in, the uh, slower it gets because you can see we're down to 16,000 now. It means I probably can't even add another one of these uh, beach tanks in. Oh no, you can't. They're there. Keep forgetting things aren't as expensive in the base game. I don't think we'd want two of these at the back, would we? Would we just want one of these and maybe the small beach tank? Uh, this one over here. So if we had something something like that? Or would we even want this? Would we want something else completely different? I, I think I'll get rid of that one for now. And if we said that we call this bit over here for now a big staff area, and we can put it out to there. 
Uh, oh, actually no, it would actually would actually want to come across. No. Typical. Ah oh, well, I might as well finish off this roadway. We just need the harbour side paint in. I know nobody's really going to see it, but I am a completionist like that. There we go. And add that back into that. Let's see if it looks silly with the um, shipwreck paint. Yeah, it just looks unfinished. So we'll have to go with the Pacific paint. And add that in and we just have to make do with these bits at the corners. I think I'll put in a, a stack door just there and then maybe we could even take this bit out now what we don't have is any exits out of this room I've, I've kind of said that there might be an exit here but we could have another one over here as well Might as well put a stop door into there. And we want another one over here. Get rid of that one. Right, what do we want next? Um, we can come back up to rank 10, try and get something from here. Oh yes, we had a, a feather star that we still needed to get, didn't we? So you are there, the Arctic feather star. Your cold water. We need to build the feather star tanks. I think that's what we do at the back here. In fact, something similar to we did in the other series. We take out all of this bit here, just for a moment. And if we go for the modular tank. You can see, I believe we're going to need four bits of this. So uh, those bits we need, two extra, okay. So that'll go that, and that'll go that. Scooch this along a bit. That will give us enough space for the last piece, which will be that one. There. Okay, so we've got four different tanks, and I believe that is as much as we'll need for um, all of the different feather stars, and then we can fill it with 
some other really nice um, thing like starfish and stuff as well. So we just stop this from complaining by putting these on every so often. And Xavier. I want to do a bit of uh, micromanagement with you as well. You are in the mansion room. Um, and so I, I actually want to take your talking right the way up. I'll keep your peeding on second and your fixing on second as well. And I think that would be much better. And take your talking up to 10. There's the Arctic Pepper Star done. Um, I'm just looking at the sizes of some of these stuff. That potato group is massive. <laughs> we may be able to add you in somewhere. Um, but these, these lobsters look really cool as well. Yeah, I'm going to get the potato grouper because I'd quite like to add you in somewhere. Right, I'm going to have to step away for a moment just to uh, use the restroom. Um, so you can talk amongst yourselves. And give me some ideas about other different animals, various different tanks and stuff I can add into here. I'll be back in a second. Right, I think we might be ready to start thinking about the animals in these tanks. We do need to have um, a platform for in here with some stairs down on either side just so we can get behind there these also need some stairs going up oh yeah we've got the ducks oh yes yes we'll definitely add some ducks to this that'll be amazing I don't know if I've got any other birds. I believe there's some wading birds as well, isn't there? Like a heron or something? But I don't think I've got the heron and I don't think I've got the otter yet. Oh no, yes, we do have a sea otter. You'll be really cool to add in. So I think, yeah, I'll add the, the otter into one of them. Oh, but no, I was going to add the uh, crocodile as well, no. Hmm. The intestines work out. Right, so obviously we're going to have to pause the game while we get all of these different animals in. So is there anything we want else we want to research before we start all of that? Uh, and is there any other tanks we want to add in? I think we will add the Feather Stars and stuff in. We'll get a few mem new members of staff as well, uh, just so we can actually get this room up and running as quickly as we can now. So, we want in here the Feather Stars as the very, very first things we add in. So, we have six different types of Feather Star. Uh, we have two of them are, no, three of them are hot water, three of them are cold water. Um, and they all work together as well. Now, I've just remembered, but I do need to change this bit down just a little bit. So if we move these to here, that one's fine. And then that one wants to be about there. And that one wants to be deleted. And that will allow us... I do actually need to keep playing the game because before we actually put those feather stars in, 
we want to add to each of these tanks one of these. And these are 12 pounds each. They're not cheap. Um, but that will, these will allow us to have the zooplankton fed directly into the tanks. I'm going to go with this tank straight away. I can't believe we've gone through like 100,000, 140,000 already. Um, and I don't really want to get rid of the tanks because I want to know what I'm putting in here. So yeah, we're just going to have to play the game for a little bit longer, I suppose. Oh, of course, this is the bit that you don't see on camera usually. But I'll just leave it running in the background whilst I'm doing other stuff for a couple of hours or so. Uh, just to build up money between episodes. Um, but now we just have to keep playing. So the next thing we want to research I believe we saw starfish before. Yeah we've got red serpent starfish. Um, but we can add into these tanks. So in here I would quite like the sea urchins, the starfish and the elegant wobby, well, the uh, feather stars within these tanks. Within one of these Lakeview tanks I think I will put the dwarf crocodile and Maybe the turtle, but I don't know. I'm not too sure what else to put in with the crocodile. And then in the other one, as you were saying, we'll add the ducks, definitely. I will definitely want the ducks. Um, and maybe the... not the sea otter with the ducks. That wouldn't make sense at all. I think the sea otter will have to be in maybe in this tank here. That might be quite good for them. But we're really going to struggle for money now. It's going to take a long time to get enough money to be able to fill this room up. But at least we've got an idea about the kind of stuff that we want in here. That's really good. We still have enough space around here to say that this will no longer be a staff area. This will be, we can put new tanks and stuff in here. Uh, and we still have this area over here as well. Which might be, I'll put some vending machines in here and that kind of stuff. Uh, and benches along here. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. But yeah, we're actually losing money on some days here. So I think this might actually be a good place to wind the stream up. Because this is just going to have to tick along in the background now. Apologies for the silence, I had to take care of my weekly COVID test. Oh wow. I hope it's all good. I hope it all comes back negatively. You are an essential worker, I assume. Let's yes, hope everyone is doing with this, doing well with this all across the world now. Uh, wherever you are wherever you're watching from. Um, let's come through it all safe. All of us come through it all safe. I think that might be... Uh, oh, it's a real... Oh, college year. Okay, yes. Um, that's a very good idea for them. Um, to take care of everyone. Yeah, that might be a good place to, to leave this on now. Because, as I say, this is just going to have to go through. And... Uh, tick along and make some money up but I'm gonna need like 40 to 50 thousand before we even start thinking about animals in here 
um, because of all of the other infrastructure we're going to have to put in. So yeah, I think, as long as there's no major objections, I suppose, <laughs> we'll end it here and we'll pick it up at this time next week. So it'll be at around two to half two in the afternoon UK time, um, every single Saturday from now on, fingers crossed. Um, I'll let you know during the week if anything changes with that. And um, yeah, thank you all for joining me. It's been a good stream. I've had some good feedback on it all. So yeah, thank you all for joining me. I'll see you next week. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting on the videos. Thanks. See you next time.